Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I've got a lot of things on my list, but I like doing stories that just come out that relates to topics I have talked about before. We are going down to St. Catharines Island, Georgia, and some new research has tied this site into a place very far away. Now here is a site right down here, overhead, Google Earth. Can't see diddly squat. So let's take a look at what some uh, research has discovered here. But here's a look at the area where research has been going on very recently. This is known as the McQueen shell ring. And what this is, it's like an earthwork built up with shells and then forming a circle. But what they found right in the middle here is very interesting. But let's just read a little. It says, ancient hunter-gatherers in eastern North America were thought to have traded stone tools and other items over long distances starting roughly 5,000 years ago via a string of exchanges between nearby groups that eventually spread the valued objects to distant locales. In those instances, hunter-gatherers who initiated the trades would have had no influence on how an object was used by its final recipients. But that wasn't the case for objects at the McQueen shell ring, Sanger's team found. Excavations in the center of the shell ring uncovered a burial pit filled with more than 80,000 ash-encrusted bone and tooth fragments, a copper band and remnants of stone tools. And this is the copper band that was found as part of uh, what was interred here at the burial. An analysis of the copper band's chemical structure by Sanger and colleagues published in the April Journal of Archaeological Science reports indicates that the metal came from any of several ancient copper mines bordering Lake Superior and located on islands in that lake. Copper mining there dates to around 5,900 years ago. Radiocarbon dating a burn material in the McQueen shell ring burial places the copper band between 4,300 and 3,800 years old. Now I have talked about copper artifacts at many, many early Adena sites coming from maybe two, 3,000 years ago. And back even Poverty Point, there was copper artifacts. Just how vast was this trading system and just how good were these early people at metallurgy? Crucially, the hunter-gatherers at McQueen also appeared to have adapted ways of using the copper band into new customs for treating the dead. The shell ring grave contained the remains of at least seven people, all of whom were cremated. Burials of cremated individuals along with copper objects and other items characterize ancient hunter-gatherers in the Great Lakes area and occasionally occurred in the Ohio River Valley and in the Little Tennessee River Valley. Clear examples of ancient cremations in the coastal southeastern United States are rare. Shell Ring has been known for a long time. Here are some pics of some excavation work here done a long time ago. I will leave a few links below, but here is the McQueen Shell Ring right down here. The other Shell Ring on the island is called the St. Catherine Shell Ring right here. The St. Catherine Shell Ring 71 meters across, maybe 220 five thirty feet that is pretty large for a shell earthwork if you want to call it that the mcqueen shell ring here measuring 69 meters across so pretty large structures coming from four thousand years ago made of just uh, beach and shell material here is the copper armband that was found in the cremation pit but studies on it trace the origin of the copper back to minnesota in the great lakes area 4,000 years ago, I think we have totally underestimated the people of this time period. And here is archaeological work at the burial pit where the cremations were found and the copper armband. And it says, the copper that's been found was mined from a source in Minnesota roughly 2,300 kilometers away. Sanger believes that the people in the shell ring burial also came from a region near the Great Lakes which indicates the people and goods were moving across a greater area than previously assumed. But not only the copper comes from the Great Lakes region around uh, Upper Michigan and the islands off Minnesota like Isle Royal, but they theorize that also the people that were cremated and interred here came from that region. That is very interesting. But just finishing this article, it says, according to Sassaman, copper was being used to make tools such as harpoon points, 
about 7,000 years ago, but by about 3,800 years ago it was used to make ornamental objects such as armbands, and we have seen other Adena sites across the United States that they were actually putting copper artifacts and impl implanting them into the skulls and some burials. It says eventually copper was used to make more elaborate ornaments such as ones depicting religious imagery in the Hopewell and Mississippian cultures and there have been copper plates with uh, Mayan type symbolism on them found. So it says Sanger believes the discovery at the shell ring fits into the larger constellation of current archaeological research that points to a similar conclusion. People in the past were far more socially complex than we ever assumed. Yes, sir. That is the story of the roughly 4,000-year-old McQueen shell ring found on St. Catharines Island in Georgia. The history of the place we call the United States is a lot more complicated, and there are so many things that we have yet to find out. It seems we know very little about these people that were in the ancient United States 4,000 years ago. Little discoveries like this is helping us put the pieces together. Cremation here, artifacts directly from this area of the world 4,000, 4,300 years ago. Seems the rivers were being highly used as highways. And people knew a lot more about other cultures around this whole area than we give them credit for. Hope you thought that was interesting. And you all have a very nice day.